Hello guys and welcome back to my channel for our again. Let's continue with the smart endpoint. So I'm just logging to the smart endpoint and today I'll walk you through uh, some more option from the smart endpoint. So basically the smart endpoints are used to protect your, I mean the smart endpoint blade used to protect your endpoints. So endpoints is your, you know, uh, mobile devices, your PCs, uh, your end servers. So whichever it is, uh, you can, uh, uh, you, you have a flexibility here to, you know, uh, manage within a single console. So whatever the devices you have as endpoints, you can manage those devices from a single console. So this is for this is what the all about the smart endpoint. And we are going to walk uh, through the different options uh, available here on our smart endpoints. So when you log into the smart endpoint, you will be seeing this all uh, tabs. So in last video, we have discussed about the uh, deployment tab. Uh, so if you not watch that video, go ahead and watch that video. Uh, in this video, we'll be covering the rest of the tabs. Uh, so let's start with the uh, uh, policy tab. So this is the tab where you define the uh, policy for your endpoints. So uh, whatever the endpoints uh, need to be getting posed with, uh, you can you know have those policy defined here. So how it works? For example, you have a PC or you have a mobile device, okay, which is integrated with your checkpoint firewall with the endpoint blade, right? This is the integration and with this console, uh, with this policies, uh, you will be able to control the functionality of this endpoints. So whatever the policy we're going to define here, those going to impose on these endpoints. It's as simple as that, guys. So uh, basically, uh, when you talk about the policy, it's straightforward. If you see on my screen, uh, uh, say, uh, say, just consider the number one policy. It's talking about the default full, uh, default full disk encryption setting for the entire organization. So whatever the organization you have defined and what are the endpoints you have defined up on the uh, this organization, those will you know get impacted with these policies. And here, uh, if you see uh, on this, they this is what the policy is all about defined. So I'm just clicking that for you. So basically, this policy says automatically run and authorize the login user activities. Uh, this is the actions you can select upon the uh, the options what we have automatically done and authorize the log in users, manually authorize user access encrypted computers. So this is what the, you know, this policy is all about tells. Uh, if you want to read more description, you can read it from here. It says register users that access their local computers and authorize them to access their computers after encryption automatically. Note at least one user need to be acquired before hard disk encryption. It is always possible to manually authorize user to access encrypted computers. So basically you are protecting the users to access, uh, access the encrypted contents. So for example, you are on this rule, you are, you know, doing the full disk encryption. You're doing the encryption on your hard disk. So that is get protected with these things. And then enable automatic acquisition of the user login to the operating system. This option is featured. It's up to you. You have this possibility or not. Uh, Preboot enforcement will occur after uh, what the uh, the acquisition process has acquired uh, one user. It's it's up to you. Like how you can define this thing actions. And this rule basically by default uh, comes from the uh, uh, checkpoint. You just have to tweak uh, as per your requirement. And there is nothing much to tell here, but uh, this is how the you know uh, the action you can you know define. So automatically learn and authorize the login user, manually authorize the login user. So we have selected this guy. So that is what you are seeing. 
and here you are saying that the comment uh, this is what default full distance setting for the entire organization is imposing on this rule so how it will look whenever you uh, uh, try to access the uh, for example whosoever in the organization trying to access the encrypted content it will uh, get restricted according to the action what we have specified likewise uh, there are too many rules available here uh, if you have uh, uh, whatever the requirement for the you know uh, controlling your endpoints you have to just come here and you have to just you know specify those policies as per the requirement and that will get imposed so take one more example here if you see anti-malware policy it's imposing to the entire organization what will happen within the criteria made these are the things so scan all files upon the access check for the malware signature updates and rest of the things so this is what by default get imposed to your endpoints and your endpoints get protected according to this policy this is how you can tweak the policies and you uh, you know perform the action as per your requirement it's that simple guys uh, let's talk about the, the users and computer tab this tab is all about you know uh, what you are you know imposing to the uh, and what uh, whom you're going to impose that so if you have a ad already integrated with this uh, endpoint you can you know impose these things to this uh, your ad users or whatever the machine you define over there or you can create your own group here as you can see if you want to create a virtual group you can create the virtual group and define the users there or endpoints there and you can impose these things uh, on them uh, you have this uh, push operation so if you just uh, go uh, click that you directly do the you know uh, push or uh, related things i mean whatever the if you want to do the malware scan upload the malware signature database or this profile from the current and whatever the things you need to do with your endpoints you can deliver uh, uh, from this push option uh, there's a lot to learn here uh, just come here and just you know uh, explore this part for now for example i am just clicking this option scan for malware uh, restore files okay so this is come under this anti-malware uh, the behavior what uh, anti-ransom behavior guide and the forensics so it's it's up to you i mean what you want to import for example if we are putting this anti-malware things if you click next here uh, let me click next okay it's not allowing me let me say update the database signatures or if i say scan malware okay so basically you need to select this option uh, what you want to impose for example i'm imposing scan for the malware and clicking next so which system you want to have this to be imposed so for example if you have some virtual group created you just select those virtual groups and say next and uh what rest of the configuration you need to have so according to that uh, you need to you know uh do the part so i'm just clicking here i'm just uh, thinking let's have the default values uh however i'm not able to click next here uh okay so uh, the point is you know uh how you can set up these things and this is a demo environment so i am not able to push the things but just uh, understand uh how you can deliver the things from here so like that here we have a lot of options uh come here and just walk through this all options uh we'll get uh the desired result and this it's up to you uh, what your organization demand according to you can you know uh, define these, these things and let's talk about now uh, reporting so basically reporting gives you uh, you know all the uh, functionalities what we have delay you know having on the same points and if you want those things in in reporting format you can do that so one of the classic example if i want to take here to take the example of the compliance uh, if you click to the compliance you will if you 
have set up the compliance uh, for your endpoints. So whoever the endpoints are not compliant, those endpoints you will be able to see that here. And you know, accordingly, uh, you will see if you want to see who's the top or violation things, who are the, uh, you know, like, I mean, as per your requirement, you can deliver the things from the reporting. Yeah, you can observe the things, you can get the reports and everything. So this is all about the uh, endpoints, guys. Uh, let me know if you found this video informative. And thanks for watching this video.